Who was Aegon the Conqueror? Aegon Targaryen, also known as Aegon the Conqueror, is one of the most legendary figures in Westerosi history. But who was he? And why did his conquest change the Seven Kingdoms forever? Aegon was born on Dragonstone, part of an ancient Valyrian family, the last dragon lords to survive the doom of Valyria. Unlike his ancestors, who were content to rule Dragonstone, Aegon had far grander ambitions. He wanted to unite all of Westeros under one rule. With his sister wives, Rhaenys and Visenya, and their three dragons, Balerion, Vagar, and Meraxes, Aegon set his sights on Westeros. In 2 AC, after conquest, Aegon and his forces landed on the shores of the continent, marking the beginning of his legendary campaign. Aegon wasn't just a military commander, he was a dragon lord. His greatest advantage was the power of his dragons. The most famous of his victories came at the Battle of the Field of Fire, where Aegon and his sisters unleashed dragon fire, burning thousands of soldiers from the Reach and the Westerlands, securing their submission. After his conquest, Aegon established himself as the first king of a united Westeros. To symbolize his rule, he forged the Iron Throne from the swords of his defeated enemies, an enduring symbol of power and fear. Though he was a conqueror, Aegon knew when to offer peace. He allowed the lords of the Seven Kingdoms to keep their lands and titles in exchange for loyalty, creating a feudal system that would shape Westeros for centuries. Aegon's reign laid the foundation for nearly 300 years of Targaryen rule, cementing his legacy as one of the greatest rulers in Westerosi history. His vision, military genius, and use of dragons changed the political landscape of the Seven Kingdoms forever. Aegon the Conqueror, more than just a warrior, he was the founder of a dynasty that would forever alter the fate of Westeros. Anyway, subscribe for more Dragon Lords.